So we'll call the meeting to order at 6 p.m. Um, on May 28th. Uh, adjustments to the agenda. Well, Diana or Liz? I didn't do my homework, so we could probably cross off the personnel policy stuff. Okay. You guys are good with that? Yep. And I can't promise when I'll be ready to revisit it, but I'll... We'll just keep it on there <laughs> until we get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's yeah. been on there for how long now? <laughs> yeah. Let's just keep it on there. Uh, there, sorry. <laughs> so, so I, I have an adjustment to the agenda. I have just an update on the um, the VTran structure grant for mm -hmm. um, not not good news, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And when when does that is there? It'll be best in the road report. Part. Okay, let's do it during the road report. Um, just remind me. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Any other adjustments? I do yes. Have a couple yes. Okay. Go ahead, Robin. Yep. Um, Sarah Van Hoff came into the office. She wants an access permit so they can go across a class four road. And I believe, yep, she says in here that Alfie has done the inspection for it. Yes. Okay. I'm not with her. So we can talk about that during the road report too. All right. Okay. So that access, can you remind me what that's called? Access permit. Permit. It's really, I mean, it's, a complicated. Yeah. it's really what we have that is usually a driveway like a curb cut permit but we've been using it for whatever because it's the only thing we have <laughs> and diane you said you had some adjustments yeah um, 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 um an update on nichols pond road a letter regarding the car towing um this all seems good for the uh for the road report too right oh sure well the car well or we could do it updates, updates yeah, yeah. yeah. And also rail trail update. Okay. Michael, would you pass this to Alfie? I don't know if he wants it. I don't want it. I assume everybody got a chance to look at the minutes. Um, is there uh, a motion? Are you interested in talking about the minutes? Or somebody want to make a motion? To I'll make a motion that we sign it. We approve them. I think was that the one that had the acronyms? I like can't remember right now. I'll look yeah, the one? Yeah. It had some acronyms in there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you mentioned uh, to take out one of the names from. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did that, and I made a couple of changes that Michael suggested. So Diana um, has made a motion to approve the minutes from May thirteenth as written. Any discussion? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Minutes are approved. All right. Um, we don't have a whole lot of public here this evening, but the next item is public comment. Um, seeing none, we'll move on to the town clerk's report. Oh, I'm, sure. I'm sorry. Under improvement um, adjustments, Michael Sadler couldn't make it. Right. So, okay, I'll take that, take that off the agenda. Next time. Robin. Okay, I, when I got to the office this morning, I had an email from, 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 about the Vermont statutes. Always before they have been free to the towns and the cities. And that supplier is not doing that anymore. And this year, if you actually want hard copies, of them, it's going to be four hundred one dollars and fifty cents. Oh my God! Or you can go in online and print them out, look at them there. Do you have That's many requests bad. for hard copies of those? Of the statute? It's basically the we look at the select them board. Yeah, but we can look at them online if we need to. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I that's a lot. I don't look at them. I mean, if I need to look something up first, I look online. And then if I need something, something I have to read a lot of, then I'll look in the book. But you can print out individual yeah. pages, I'm sure, not right. the whole thing. Right. <sighs> so go with printouts, no yeah. hard books. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay. Yeah. That I, Jeez, I always thought it was yeah. kind of kind of a lot of expensive no, stuff copy. that they spent over the years. Yep. And lawyers will probably still have to. Like they probably have to pay for it anyways. They can afford it. Huh? Yeah. They can. 
And we also had a letter from Alan Wobel. I sent you guys copies of it, but I didn't know if you would have time to look at them, so I printed some out. Thanks, Robin. Yeah. Well, we have that down under okay. updates on the whole car film business. Okay. Yeah. Would you like one of those, Alfie? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are we share? No. Oh. I did see it online. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So we'll talk about that during the road report? Sure. All right. And from the letters that you sent out certified, there was only one person that has not responded back. Oh. And their certified mail was returned to the office. Mm. Oh. So they, they, never never ex it. they never accepted the certified one. They didn't take it. Is that the one on... The top there, the one that we wrote another no. letter for. No, she no. picked hers up. Okay, mm -hmm. I thought you said she got hers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't know if they got the one that we sent regular mail. Oh wait. Is that one that's not on Old Quarry Road? I don't want to say names. There was one letter that went to somebody that wasn't on Old Quarry Road. No. Is it that one? No. It's Old Quarry Road. That's Old Quarry Road. Okay. The one with the X is by. Oh, they did get it. I talked to him on the phone. Okay, uh, well, their certified one came back. Oh, well, he he got one somehow. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. so then everybody knows about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that's all I got. Thank you, Evan. Our next agenda item, uh, bicycle safety signs, we're going to put on the next agenda because Michael is uh, um, busy this evening. Um, moving on to the road report. Uh, I imagine Alfie you may or may not want to give us an update. we got some other things um, that can uh, fall under that. Yeah, I don't have much to update. Um, okay. One thing is the cemetery work is mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. last week. We coded the whole thing all the way to the top uh, with new crushed ledge. Mm -hmm. I think it came out pretty well. I haven't seen it since the rain, but I'm sure that gravel packs pretty well, mm -hmm. so I'm sure it's going to be fine. Well, there's nothing in 14 when I went up this morning. Yeah, right. <laughs> except for, except for the car down well, that, yeah. well, that wasn't in Route 14. Right. 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 Yeah, down by the pond there, right? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. happened last night at some point. Yeah. Yep. Um, I still think we should discuss whether or not the town should be paying for that. The cemetery has a big budget. A huge budget in the last few years, and I don't know why they can't just hire somebody to do that when it's needed. But it got complicated this year, and LB jumped in and said, "Just do it." Where, can I ask where, where does the cemetery get their funding? From the town, anyway. Yeah. I mean, it goes. Well, it kind of comes out of the same. Yeah, but they well. Okay, yes, I know, right? Because we vote for their budget at town meeting separately, right? Right. Um. So. Mm -hmm. Don't they have some income from grave sites? Oh, mm -hmm. they, they do. Yeah. Um. But the residents of Woodbury presumably are paying for it one way or another. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Essentially, it was five loads of material. That's the actual cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was our time uh, trucking the material. And I used my personal tractor to level it. It out. Uh, so that's nothing, no charge. Thank you. Well, how Thank much do you think that those five loads cost? Uh, they're they're about two and a quarter, two fifty each. Yeah. Right. So maybe a thousand dollars. So you're probably about a thousand yeah. or a thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if, I mean, we can mm -hmm. get invoices if you wanted to go after it, but I mean, I. It seemed like a pretty big issue last fall, so you know I just decided. I to just don't know why they didn't. They couldn't figure out how to get somebody to do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think if they were to hire a, a contractor to mm -hmm. do that, the number would be much bigger. Oh, okay. You know, so that's I a good point. It might 
just mention it to mm -hmm. them. Maybe they will pay for the material mm -hmm. and the town mm -hmm. can cover the the, mm -hmm. the labor, the, the trucking. If, you know, I mean, yeah, that would be fair. Yeah, it's certainly yeah. a lot less than it would be if they paid some money. Mm -hmm. She's on there, but I uh, think, is Susan Stiley the head of the cemetery? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's done anyways. And Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. if that was the case, they'd need to increase their budget at next town meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, this was a special a circumstance, right? Because did this include making more road that goes to the new burial site, or was this just like maintenance? No, I just did work on the... Yeah, they're going oh, okay. to have to hire okay. somebody for that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And ha I thought I had come up that there was a question of, like, who is responsible for the road? Is it the town or is it the cemetery? We had the like, wasn't that never quite answered? Right. Mm -hmm. We had the discussion and it didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like we said, Alfie said, I'll bring my tractor and do it. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's done, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so the third thing that I've got to talk of is just uh, county road extension. We started that today. The what? The county road extension. Oh, okay. Class 4 park. I'm sorry, I didn't realize they were waiting for that insurance thing, to, that sales thing to be signed, or I would have done it. Yeah, usually the salesman gets it to me and I sign it. Usually that's that's enough, but I don't know why it went through mm -hmm. all the all the channels. Mm -hmm. you know, but, so know. are you still just dropping material there, or is that? We are. We're using some material that's on site. Yep. Uh, one of the landowners came out and talked to me today, and he said, ah, "Just take that berm off." So it's a big burn alongside the road. Oh. So I'm like, okay, great. We'll put that stuff in the bottom. Okay, yeah. Okay. And so it's used, that's filling the hole uh -huh. a lot, a lot more than rather than having to truck it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I did get a bunch of stuff from Callis uh, and stockpiled it at our shop. Mm -hmm. So I'm using that right now and trying to make it go as long as far as we can. Yep. So it was just started today, so we have got a ways to go. So you'll get it done within a month. We don't have to use I, keep that. I'm hoping so. Yeah. That bulldozer, that yes. excavator, all summer again. Hoping so. Yeah. Um, the um, of the the one hang up is the the hydraulic study for the culvert. That oh. Needs to go in there. There is a culvert then. Okay. There is. Yeah. It's at the very beginning of where it started washing out. Okay. I think that was the cause of the whole washout. Really. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, it was one, it was too small, and it was part too close. So um, the water overtook it and went down the side of the road, mm -hmm. down the whole road essentially. So I'm waiting on the hydraulic study uh, mm -hmm. in order to know what size culvert to put in there. You, that's down at the roof 14 end? No, no, oh. that's up at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did, did you get my forward email from Chris Sire? Um, District Six guy. I did. I okay. did, but I don't remember now. What well, he just said that it's in the. Um, that he checked on the H and H study and it's pending. Okay. But he had no idea when it would happen. Right. He didn't give up. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the only thing, the only reason I would need the excavator mm -hmm. any longer is if we don't have a green light on okay. that. But I, we should be able to get that road up to shape before then. Mm -hmm. But you know, within a month. Hmm. How many of you are working on it? Just three of us. All three of you at once? I mean, yes. they truck the material and... Two trucks and... So and that means nothing else is getting done? Pretty but, much. Okay. Well, I mean, I mean what can that, you do? I mean, you, if something comes up, <laughs> yeah. you know, we can yeah. pull off of that. Yeah. If there's something that needs to be graded yeah. or something, you know, yeah. certainly we will, yeah. you know. Good. It's a good um, time to do it. Huh? And so feel free to call if there's something that you guys feel more important, let me know if that, this, that's a class four and it's probably mm -hmm. not the highest priority out there. But mm -hmm. uh, while we got the weather, I feel like mm -hmm. we should probably get it done. Right. And also keep, in, keep up with the FEMA stuff. Right. Yeah, it'd right. be nice to get that done. Yeah. But FEMA will be paying for the cost of the load, right? They're pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they'll get the, the numbers. Get, they'll get this invoice, and then yeah. they'll, they'll pay for the whole thing. Oh. Okay. Not yeah. just an hourly. 
thing? Well, they, they make us keep track of the hours. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm but sure it'll come up to... I'm <laughs> pretty sure it'll come up to that, okay. yeah. All right, good. Yeah. And they pay for, they'll pay for the fill, they pay for all the top coat mm -hmm. and gravel, mm -hmm. they'll pay for the culvert. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got an estimate in, and I'm keeping track of everything, so we'll get we'll get what it costs. What it costs us. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you drove around that end of town. We turned around at the uh, Greenwood Lake Road on Sunday, I think it was, and there is a big hole right there, and where the pavement ends. So if you're coming from this way and you turn onto Greenwood Lake Road, mm -hmm. so it would be this this pile right there is a big hole. On the dirt part? On the dirt right where the pavement ends and this dirt begins. Oh. So there's okay. uh, just like a, an apron, it's not that road's not paved, is it? No. Oh, okay. So it would be yeah. off the states. I guess right away. Yeah. yeah, right where the yeah. trouble come together. There's a mm -hmm. Hmm. So it's a that's a regular pothole. Yeah. Yeah. I oh. said, Bill, did we lose a tire? Hey, <laughs> I, I oh, actually not again. Uh, okay. uh, we did. We did. I went and bought a load of cold patch. Oh and yeah. Fixed a lot of the holes in the existing blacktop. Yeah. And also did a bunch of the aprons where they were mm -hmm. getting beat up. Mm -hmm. that. So we used up three ton of it. Mm. Um, but that one that you're talking about was in the dirt. Part, in the dirt. So we wouldn't have used that for yep. that. Anyway, so that was another thing we did last week. That reminds me of another complaint I got, and I'm not sure I sent it on to you yet. Uh, what's our Cape Brook Road, just over the town line? I was told that there's a big drop-off ditch that I guess you put some dirt in it, but it wasn't enough. It was just washed away. Oh, from yeah, here that's here that's what there. yeah, that mm -hmm. requires an excavator. Mm -hmm. We've got to get an excavator mm -hmm. and some stone because mm -hmm. the brook runs right along the side of the road mm -hmm. and the brook is trying to eat mm -hmm. away the road. Mm -hmm. So we need to harden that with stone, mm -hmm. which takes an excavator. And so is that on. flood related too, you think? or? Um, it's just ongoing. Well, we, have, we didn't. You put it in. We didn't put it in. Okay. No, no. So I think we just fix it up. I mean, that was bad. That long ago, there was a bad flood on that road. A woman died. Yeah, I have to go yeah. to Westbury, like go through Hardwick, yeah. go out towards Walkett. Who knows? But anyways, that was long yeah, ago. Yeah, it's been. It's been, I mean, been. It's been patched before mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. with big stones, boulders mm -hmm. along that same area. So mm -hmm. um, it's not something new. So I'll put that on the... Put your on, on your list. list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. there's a bad washout up on Woodbury Mountain Road, which I know we don't maintain. It's mm -hmm. the Class 4 section. And I'm just curious, because we came up on it the other day, and it's like, it's actually pretty dangerous because it it's out of your line of sight. Like, you're looking, and you kind of look over it, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden there's like this... Really so isn't that why people go up there? Because yes, yeah, it is, but it's new, so people don't know it's there, so it sneaks up on you. <laughs> and I'm not suggesting that we fix it, I'm, mm -hmm. but I am curious, like, liability-wise, is, I mean, it's class forward, we don't maintain it. Is there any kind of liability? For people who go up there and trash the road, I don't think so. And not everybody that goes up there is trashing the road. Really? I'm just, I don't trash the road. But you go up there because it's... Bumpy yeah, because it's fun. So, yeah. yeah, I'm not just, saying... You're not going to work, in other words. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm just wondering, like, if there were to be an injury because of that, is there any kind of, you know, issue for us? I don't know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it a culvert? It's a culvert that washed out, yeah. So I got a call last week, actually during the weekend, about that. Oh, okay. Um, somebody that travels up there often... Uh, he offered to put some fill into it or do something to make it better. It wasn't Tim, was it? Because he was talking about what he did. No, it wasn't Tim. Okay. No, no, it was okay. uh, uh, Peter. Morris. <laughs> Morris was his last name from Callis. Um, uh, Wayne Morris's son. I didn't get his okay. first name. But well, that's great. He seemed very responsible. He'd been traveling there all mm -hmm. his life. And I said, okay, well, mm -hmm. do what you can and I'll try mm -hmm. to go look at mm -hmm. it uh, first of the week and oh, see good. if there's something more we can do. If it is a culvert, 
we are responsible for fixing culverts on class fours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, it might be as simple as if we can get a truck up there, a smaller truck up there with some gravel to fill it in. Or okay. It might be that simple. But I, I did get a call over it mm -hmm. about it last week, and I'll try to go put that fire out as well. Okay. Cool. All right. Hello. Anything else? I think that's it. We can go on to your list now if you want. All right. Well, let me turn to Michael to the V Trans. Yeah. So um, I have been waiting to hear about the V Trans structure grant, which would be for the Valley Lake um, culvert, Pops mm -hmm. culvert. Um, and so in the same email, where I was asking um, the District Six person about the H and H study, um, asked about it. Mm -hmm. And he told me that the, that the notices had gone out on February 1st um, and that the deadline for the application was April 15th. So I did check my emails. He said it was sent to the town clerk and to the garage. I checked my emails and Robin did forward that to me uh, around the 1st of February. Mm -hmm. um, I used to get them directly from... Mm -hmm. Um, so and I, it just went right by me. I never, never noticed it. So. But, I, but you did say there was some deadline you had to meet, and I thought you meant there's it. So no, there's no, another one. Well, that's probably some other. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we missed our opportunity for the structures grant oh. this year. Mm. Uh, seems like there's enough for the road crew to do anyway, but mm. um, not that they you would do that. So mm. um, I'll just be aware of that. Mm. I did ask to be put on the mailing list from mm. District 6. And, mm. um, I think it's just another part of the confusion of being placed in a new mm. district. Um, mm. So that's something we could apply for next year, yes. assuming the box we, culvert can last that long? Yeah, hopefully yeah. the culvert will last that long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping maybe we could do that and the two bridges together in one contract, but that's not going to happen. No. So. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> They said it wouldn't happen this year anyways. Well, right. I mean, it could happen the same. Yeah. <laughs> Robin, you have a, um, the access permit for Sarah Manhoff? Yeah. Well, I don't have I don't have the actual permit. Okay. Where is it? Sarah went back out of the office with it. Hmm. Oh. But it wasn't signed. She had a copy at the shop. Uh, mm -hmm. And she needs to select where to sign it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you had it. Nope. And what, when is that work that she, when does she want to have that work done? Uh, soon. Soon as possible. Before our next meeting, I assume. Uh, I think so. I, I didn't know if it was going to get on the agenda or not. Uh, I just went and met with her and gave her what I thought would work best for the town. I mean, it's literally class four. It's almost like driving through the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, is it where her water line is now? Or Yeah, mm -hmm. she's got a spring that's up in the woods above yeah. her house. Yeah. And the, the line is broken in a couple spots. So yeah. she wants to replace the line. So it's replacing, yes. okay. Which has to Cabot go road. under our Wait, road. not Cabot Road. It crosses. So, Hold on. I just asked her to yeah. go, sort of go you know straight that. across the road going, yeah. mm -hmm. and to get it at least four feet deep. Yeah. So that if so, we ever do a culvert or something there, we'll be right. less likely to catch um, it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. So is that yeah. this road and then the, the class four road, is that King Farm Road? No, uh, no I think it it's continues Bliss road. As Bliss road. Okay. Yeah. And which, what's the class four road then? Or it's just it's class four I think there. It just turns to to class okay, four right. okay. at their driveway. Okay. Yeah. And does it require the entire select board to sign that access permit, or can we authorize one of us to sign that? Usually, just the chair would sign it. Well, it's got two places for the select board to sign it, and one place for the road foreman to sign it. We don't have a road foreman, but we've been using it for. <coughs> I'll help you to sign unless you're going to do the work. I am not. Okay. <laughs> well, I was. I have not. No, they've got to go. Okay. Yeah. So you could sign sign that part. And yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I would have told her she should come today if I know she had the permit. But I thought she left it with you. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Well, I, I have a copy of it. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so I can sign my portion and then get it back to the office. Okay. And then whomever mm -hmm. one of you can. I think we can authorize, if, if you're okay with it, to have yeah. Diana yeah. sign it um, for the board sure. so that we don't all have to. Doesn't hold hold anything up. Okay. Yeah, yeah no. it sounds like they're running low on water because of their leaks. Yeah. Oh. They want to replace it. Yeah. They've got, I think they've got Onion River wells uh, oh. contracted to dig it for them oh. and replace the whole line. Mm. And they're they're a reputable company. I, I think they'll do the right thing. Mm -hmm. They won't have to like close the road or anything because nobody should be going through there. That, yeah. No, it's not. It's not possible. I mean, four wheel or, or a jeep, no. maybe. But mm -hmm. I, I, I understand that further up there, it's it's a swamp, so mm -hmm. it's, oh. you know, vehicles aren't mm -hmm. going through it, anyways. All right, and then Diana, you wanted. To, um, it seems like we could put it on a road report. The Nichols Pond update. Um, the cars on the quarry road update and the rail trail update. Okay. Um, or would you prefer to do it down? No, it's okay. fine. Uh, the car towing. Oh, Lizzie had me put the letter on uh, letterhead for us to sign, and she didn't have the address, so Robin is going to take the letter after we sign it and type in the address. And so you want that to go class or registered or whatever too? I think we have to, to, right? Yeah. I feel like if we're going to tow it, mm -hmm. we have to have documentation. Yeah. Good. Which we didn't have last time. So we should sign this? Yeah. Copy. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Make a motion or, yeah, just sign it. I don't know that we need that. And I did write, write a little map there. Um, It did make uh, <clears throat> what I thought was a fairly, I mean, it's just hand drawn, but it kind of tries to show where their property is outside of all the rights of way. They mm -hmm. don't seem to understand. And I'm sure I've given them that map before, but. Thanks for writing the letter. You signed it in my spot, Chris. But your signature looks just like mine. So I'm just going to sign it in this spot. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe So, Rail Trail, I had, a, I had another person, maybe, really interested in being the, the uh, non motorized representative, and then she dropped out. So, I've had three people. <coughs> think they might be interested but they dropped out so in the meantime I thought I was I thought I might just throw out an idea uh, recreation committee you know we got things going on in town people want things going on we've got the friends of WES who do the skating rink and we've got the Planning Commission doing stuff and we have the Conservation Commission doing trails and maybe you know, if somebody hears the idea of having a recreation committee, maybe they'd say, yeah, let's do that. So I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> on, on top of all our other lists. I mean, the thing is, we don't, other towns spend money on things that aren't absolutely necessary, but we don't have anything like that. We pay like a couple hundred dollars for the liner for the skating rink, and other than that, it's uh, all volunteer work or nothing, so, yeah. Anyways. So you said, uh, I guess I didn't understand, you're suggesting that we form a recreation Yeah. Community? Yeah. If somebody was, you know, somebody might hear that idea and say, well, yeah, let's do it. Okay. It's not going to be me, but <laughs> I'll just throw it out there. All right. <laughs> and they're, they're watching HCTV next week, some night late. And, Say, hey, good idea. You get a phone call the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Be sure to give us an update. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break that on the agenda for next time. 
Okay, so yeah, news on Nichols Pond, Camp Road. And sometime I'd like to update you on the whole, uh, not bloody, but muddy history <laughs> of okay. what we went through last year. Yeah. Uh, the Hardwick Electric uh, manager retired suddenly a month or so ago, and last week on the uh, Front Porch Forum, or no, yeah, Front Porch Forum for Hardwick, there was a note that said the Nichols Pond access is now open to the public. It was a rather cryptic line that said there's no access to the dam, and so I emailed, I, I responded to the, the commissioner who had written that, and I said, what, what do you mean by that part? Because the dam, in my opinion, is the whole grass area, the whole part where, you know, there is a cement, but then the whole grass area, to me that's the dam, but I don't think that's what they meant. Um, so I asked him about that, and he said, well, you know, look on HCTV, which I did, but it's really pitiful. Would they do that themselves without a camera there? And at the meeting I was watching, the, the camera was, like, pointed at the table. So <laughs> it was, I don't know why they don't have you doing there with a camera and stuff, because they, they just do it all with a TV, and it was really hard. They had quite a long discussion about it. But it was really hard to hear a lot of it and hear who was saying what. But I think now it's going to be like a detente. I think they're not going to fuss about it anymore. They took the chain down. The campers hopefully are going to be quiet unless things change. I mean, if people are not nice, it'll all start again. But as yeah. a member of the public. Yeah. Who also has a camp on Nichols Pond? Did that happen before Memorial Day weekend? Yes, it was oh, about it a week was ago. Amazingly quiet up there. Well, people so, don't know about it yet. Yeah. Yeah. But I know some that have been corresponding with me on Facebook and things. They they know about it. Okay. And they heard about great. it. Great. So yeah. there won't be a parking issue for the camp owners on the road down to the day. Right. Okay. Great. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Now, another crazy idea, I don't know why I'm saying this stuff, but if somehow the town, the property owners, the camp owners could get together and find a portal out, I wonder how much that would cost. Two by fours and someone with a shovel. <laughs> There's plenty of trees and woods there. Yeah, so, okay, well, if that's not, I don't know. I mean, chances, in the old days, if you did that, it would either end up in the pond well, or be vandalized. Yeah. Somebody would um, knock it over and that would be the end of it. <laughs> yeah. so, there are people mm -hmm. that use the dam, the pond, who actually maintain the dam. They Somebody do. mowed the grass yeah. there this weekend. Yeah. They so, pick up the trash. And, and, and it's yeah. not hard with electric that's doing no, it. Right. It's yeah, people, people that want to use it. So. Some of the people that attended the meetings last that we had mm -hmm. last year talked about the, the fact that they mowed the lawn. and. And pick up the trash, and when somebody has an illegal fire, you know, they clean up the fire mm -hmm. pits and things like that. So anyway, that's that's good news. Yeah, that's good, it's good news. Quiet matters. for now. Yeah. I think if the camp owners and the Hardwick Electric are willing to uh, stop fighting about it, maybe the town could do a little a little maintenance on that class four road now that we're claiming. I mean, it, no, I shouldn't say claiming because it is a class four it road. Is a class four road. We're, perfect yeah. proof. Yeah, <clears throat> wouldn't be now. There, there are two granite or granite cement pillars where they had the um, chain, yeah. and those are 13 feet apart. Is that wide enough to get a grader through? We'll have to knock one of them over. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can speak to the history yeah. of that a little bit. I know that in the past the road crew has felt that the road is too narrow to do an effective job yeah. with the, the grader. Um, one of the Meyer family uh, has actually been maintaining the road mm -hmm. um, down to but the they, dam. Um, but that's when they thought that it was private road. Those well, 20 it, years. Yeah, and, they, and the Pond Association did pay that person a minimal mm -hmm. amount to mm -hmm. do that work. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I have a feeling um, 
that they would be willing to continue doing that. It actually held up through the flood last summer mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the work that this person mm -hmm. had done. So, um, but if the road crew wants to do something, that, that's fine too. Well, Norman keeps mentioning that Gary, Rick, Gary used to bring the grader down yeah, there every year. Yeah, so. Gary and Rick yeah. would do it every year. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely happy to do work on class yeah. fours as, yeah. long as, as long as it's within the town budget. and. I mean, it was, yeah, I don't think there's any culverts or anything serious like that. But there are no culverts. Yeah. yeah. And if there's room to turn around when you get to the parking area, if you go up early in the morning, <laughs> nobody there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess you'd want to look at it first. Is that something you want to put on my list? Mm -hmm. Is that something you want me to put on my list? Now, or we want to think about it and see what happens because it's so brand new. The road's in pretty good shape right now. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Let's just wait on it then. So it's not in good shape. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. If I fix wait what is it broke, right? Yeah. Okay, you let us know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the but only, I think the it's a tough thing. Is, is, you know, the town is, is if they, they can assure their ownership if they do maintenance on the Exactly, right. right. So that's a yeah. reason to... Yeah, right. and to have other people doing maintenance on a down road has its own problems, right. as we've <coughs> known in the past. Mm -hmm. right. With old Quarry Road. <laughs> so, yeah, it would be good to... I mean, even if it's just a couple loads of material, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in the steeper parts, there's a couple yeah. of steep hills yeah. that know who yeah. would be the ones that would wash out if mm -hmm. they're going to mm -hmm. a couple loads mm -hmm. then we could say we've done maintenance yeah we were you know tracking mm -hmm. and chuck did work on he worked on the nichols pond road which is different from the nichols right. dam road yeah he did work on that a summer or two the ago. town of the town hired him as a contractor yeah. it yeah. wasn't just yeah it wasn't yeah. Really. Property owner. It was just I retired him, even though he was road foreman at the time. <laughs> yeah. So, but that was that's also class four, isn't it? The it whole is, thing yeah. up there is still yeah. class four. Okay. So, anyways, that's good news, and it'll probably the word will probably get around, and sure. there still isn't a day and a. a uh, Fence of any kind on the spillway, mm -hmm. but I heard someone mention it during that garbled meeting, and I don't know if they realized that they kind of should do that. Mm -hmm. Did Hardwick get a new commissioner? Not yet. They have a part time person, and they're sharing some duties with Morrisville and um, some other company. Yeah, so they don't, they don't have a full manager yet. Okay, so and the only other thing is uh, the letter that Robin delivered to us from I don't know how to pronounce Alan's last name. Yeah. Um, will the letter that we're sending to the resident of the top of Old Quarry Hill resolve this? No, no, not, not okay. where he said he, he can't sell his property if the neighbor continues to be a mess. But there's no, I mean, that's not our responsibility. Right. But mm -hmm. um, it's not, once the vehicle is out of the road, then we've fulfilled our responsibility. I couldn't see on that picture that Alan sent. I, I can't tell. I guess I have to go up there and see. What, what? If I knew what car we were talking about, I would have put that in the letter, but mm -hmm. I didn't. Right, I didn't know either, so I didn't. So I don't know if this is this uh, mm -hmm. Subaru here, or if it's uh, one up there. Okay. The one that's up closer to the been here a long time. Yeah. That one. That's, a, that's a Ford. That's, a, that's not a Subaru, that's a Ford. That's yeah, the Ford? one that we're talking about is more like up in... Right, right. This region. Yeah. Which one? This looks well, like it's somebody parked it. there while they go inside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you have the letter, Alfie? Yeah. Yeah, you have that photograph. Okay. Mm -hmm. This isn't the car that we're talking about towing. Oh, okay. It's no. not. Okay. No. So it's this one up. This is, I guess, I, mine printed out differently. Yeah. But. 
So this is the... It's that one, yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that one looks like it's in the right of way, too. Um, unless there's anything else for the road report, uh, we should get on to Danielle's um, recovery mm -hmm. officer's report. Anything that Skip well, just kind of gives us an update? Usually gives us a chart. Did you make a chart? I did not make a chart. <laughs> <laughs> I did not make a spreadsheet. Uh, I will tell you that right before Memorial Day weekend, we got notice that um, there's a new call. It's called the Simplified Ugh. Procedure. Yeah. <laughs> you believe that? And it's not. We Don't worry. Literally have to. Yeah, you know. But I'm already. I'm in hell with this. These people. Yeah, we You're literally right. have to like attest to every incident, and it shouldn't take too long. But like we've just learned about it. We're having a meeting with our our female point of contact was on was they they make them go home for a couple of weeks. So I think he was on vacation. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah, yeah, we're meeting with him tomorrow. Uh -huh. So things have been, you know, I mean, I'm sure, as Skip has told you, it's been very, very slow. And, like, it's wonderful. Wait, wait, to you have. try to make the state happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've submitted everything multiple mm -hmm. times. And with this new policy in place, We'll have to do less documentation, but we've already done all the documentation. Yeah, really. yeah, they don't. So I think in the long run, I do think that it will be helpful, but we now have to go and learn about this process and then start signing off. And I literally think, have you done it yet? It literally looks like it's initialing things. We, so it's not like a couple, but then the more. state had a list of, we've been dealing with this, the money goes to the state. Mm. Oh. And now we're having to fight with the state because we didn't have this and we didn't have that mm. and we this form and this some other policy and so get ready. So to get I don't that want to their seven point eight percent. Once you make them happy, you gotta go over and make the state happy. Oh, okay. To get any. We're on our second pile of oh, okay. forms from the state. <laughs> second pile. <sighs> yeah, and basically, like, not much happens when Terry's not around because you know everything is really in his hands. So we've mm -hmm. been we've been stalled for a bit, but we were meeting back. weekly with him, which yeah. we will start really? to do again. Oh. So great. Uh, yeah. So. That's all I have. <laughs> Thanks for doing it again. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. Learning a lot well, about riffraff. Oh. Learning a lot about bureaucracy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think we're on the Paul's report. There's some kind of work. I've got the same issue FEMA-wise. Okay. There hasn't been any movement. Terry's been gone. My two closed projects, I keep getting letters saying they're not closed, so they haven't fixed that. And then uh, I got the same expedited process but so so our, we have two that are closed and submitted but now the money's got to come through the state and that's been the next hurdle it's because we didn't have a something policy i don't it was and it's like an inch at a time with a mile to go type thing it's like they send you a bunch of things they want you get them done and then oh we can get it this one now you're with sally and then you get it this thing so that's kind of what we're into now drive so yeah. was kind of on hold and then he, he called me today and he's like, well, we're ready to, ready to close out the fire station, right? I'm like, no. Oh. Here's the letter you sent me before you left. It says we have more work to do. Oh, oh right, 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 right. <sighs> okay, so we meet on Monday. So that's my report for FEMA. No. I have no idea how much no. money was kept coming and when it's coming. But mm -hmm. just, yes, you'll mm -hmm. have to deal with the state next because it's very frustrating mm. process. If, if we end up with $3,000, I'll be 10000 in the hole for the labor I put into it. Mm -hmm. It's almost not worth the effort. It is on the town of sure, but I don't know, I don't know what we're going to end up with. It's certainly been mm. frustrating. Mm. Uh, we're still trying to deal with whether we're going to get some money to re more money to repair, because in the way I see it, at the very minimum, we should get it, the difference between what the insurance company paid and what the actual damage is. Mm -hmm. and, that's you know that's twenty five or twenty six thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So um, they're trying to wiggle out of it. It's kind of the way I'm seeing. They keep wanting to quickly close this down. I'm like, no, no, we're not closing it down. So hopefully we'll have some more information on Monday. And I don't know how much we got for the cleanup in the. I, again, I look in the portals and I don't know what it panned out to be. Mm -hmm. Their magic number. So that's the press. You won't talk about that. Okay. We did, they're moving along on our new building. You can see that started. They didn't, although they didn't dig today, we did We did strike a nice spring back there, which was bigger than I thought. So we could have our own pond if we wanted. Oh, that'd um, be nice. So they got, they got water, so they'll be digging that. Well, there'll be a 12-inch line, which we 
proved last year digging across the town's land there to get to the brook to deal with our catch basins. Still struggling with VTrans, mm -hmm. they're supposed to pay us, but they're arguing about every every dollar cent now that they got their stuff and it just cost them another four hundred dollars to have my engineer verify something that I could have told them because they there was a change mm -hmm. to the uh, on the water, the stormwater system because of the septic upgrade, and they didn't want to pay for the stormwater upgrade, which was $12,000. So then they had to have the end. I told them, I said, because mm -hmm. now the septic system's above ground where the swale was going to be, you can't run a swale through the middle of your mm -hmm. above ground septic system, so they had to put it below ground, and so then that wasn't good enough for me, so I had to pay the engineer $375 mm -hmm. to write a letter. And then they haven't gotten back to me for two weeks. But anyway, we're. we're <sighs> Hundred hundred and forty five some thousand dollars, a lot of money, so um, to deal with them. So that's so we're moving, uh, buildings ordered. You should see stuff, no, but I don't think it happened there today. I was gone all day, so uh, it, it should be happening. I'm a little worried about if it keeps raining, it's going to be tough to get the water control stuff in. Mm. But, so, uh, what's going on with the bank? I mean, the bank. Oh, no, the bank bank. bank. Uh, they're going to see that like it is. That's what we're leaving. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh, that'd be great if that yeah. would stabilize it. You should. As long as it's not undercut, and we get rid of the water. Yeah. The, the problem last year is when we had dug under it some, and then yeah. that whole yeah. thing just slumped down yeah. the, mm -hmm. the face of that ledge. It's mm -hmm. a great, but if you look behind the well, there's mm -hmm. a big face of ledge mm -hmm. there. That's really what happened. That just slumped down. Yeah. And the thought process with this is it was the least expensive of the, th expensive of the three options, and there's enough room back there. Any that comes down, we can get machines in there and clean it out again, but I don't think mm -hmm. it's going to happen. Mm. Um, but the foundation should be next. They get a lot more dirt to haul out. And they have been hauling dirt for folks that want, want dirt. Oh, okay. you know, as long as it's not too far. I just told people that mm -hmm. my, my I want dirt phone started ringing big time. Oh, so, yeah. so I can't get involved in that. Call go <laughs> see the contractor. You can tell mm -hmm. them about it. Mm -hmm. But keep the cost. So they've got more they go. Oh, yeah. 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 If you, I think if you just drive your truck over there, they'll load you up. Do not yeah. fill. I know you guys are got a hole. Yeah. I think it's you need some. Yeah. yeah I mean, literally, if you if you back in instead of them, it's just saving them money. Sure. They don't yeah. have to truck it. So I would just top over and oh. talk to the ex guy in the excavator. Then Goslin there. Yeah. That's what everyone else is doing. They're longer <laughs> within a couple of miles. They've been hauling it there. But if you can mm -hmm. pick it up yourself, I don't think it's any problem. That's why I told no. the guy with the truck. Said, mm -hmm. Back up. I bet they'll load it. Sure yeah. enough. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because we got to bring that grade down some more, and then. They'll have, I don't know, it's a mess. A lot of dirt fall out. They've hauled a lot of dirt out of there. How deep is the foundation? It'll be, f no. well, four and a half feet, probably mm -hmm. close to five feet. And then there's, I don't think we're going to be putting a lot of that material back. You'll be using stone and mm -hmm. dry stuff. Because mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff is clay, mm -hmm. muddy, nasty stuff you don't really want around your building. Mm -hmm. So the build's going good. Uh, USDA is the last thing. We, we I finally got a meeting with the director of USDA. They did, in concept, approve the addition of that building project as a as a approvable project. So hopefully, I'm working to get the architect and the two engineers going so that we can get a price. Uh, she wants to get it going by. She'd like to have it approved by this fall so we can go out to bid and maybe start construction next spring. Hmm. I think that's ambitious when it takes three weeks to set up a meeting. So, you know what I'm saying? I didn't hmm. get that, but that's where we're at with the USDA. Hmm. And uh, as far as cost, we'll just see where the cost land. Mm -hmm. One of the things I was concerned about is the percentage. With the 1.125 million that we had, we would have up to 375,000 in matching, which can be labor and it mostly hmm. going to be money. But um, if we don't if we don't spend all that money all the way to the 1.5 million, we as long as we have enough money from what they give us and what we have, we can do the project, even though it might not be a 25% match mm. because of the way the money came through Congress. So huh. Huh. that's where we are with that. So we got to get the <sighs> basic plans done and then an opinion of probable costs. Then we can mm. submit to USDA. They said that would take about 45 days to. So uh, will that. You can add that onto the contractor's contract with no, that going be, on? No, it's a totally oh, separate God. project. No. So we'll just finish this part, close no. it. Um, I'm getting, it's probably going to be Ross Environmental. I've got to do an environmental study. Mm -hmm. They can't even tell me what an environmental study is. I have to have one. He says they know how to do it. I said, good. My frustration with this government stuff, which you're all running into, is they never tell you, well, here it is. Yeah. This is what you got to do. It's always like you do it, and then it's like, oh, no. He did something wrong. Yeah, you, you got to use the left-handed shovel. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's kind of what we're into now. But it seems like it's going to move through. But it's a matter of 
getting my my design people to get their designs mm -hmm. done, and I already have people working on the paperwork, mm -hmm. um, which is quite thick, and then we'll get it submitted, I hope, by the end of summer, but that's So what there doing. has to be some kind of connection between one building and the, the addition, it's going to be Yeah, it'll, it'll be built so right against it, so okay. uh, on the south, the, the thought is on the south wall, it'll just yeah. add on, uh -huh. we'll, cut, we'll do whatever we got to do through uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. It's just the fact that it's a separate project. Mm. Right, I mean, it has to be a totally separate project. You need separate heating system? Well, probably a common, it could be a, it's probably going to be a common oh, everything good. else. The state's going to make you put a sprinkler system in, which oh, means I've got an area 20,000 gallon water tank oh. and buy a $90,000 fire pump. And, Unbelievable. Well, that was the deal. That was part of the deal for this <sighs> money. So. so it'll be good um, if we get there. But again, I happy day we get it so we could start next spring. So the, the, uh, um, fire suppression system is because of the addition or because of so the state fire code mm -hmm. we had gotten a variance at this point state fire code says all new emergency services building have to have sprinkler systems and I'm in favor of that it actually mm -hmm. makes sense mm -hmm. there's multiple millions of dollars worth of equipment in there and it's all your yeah. safety equipment so we've had a number of fire stations okay. burn yeah lose all this stuff it happens quite regularly so so it there's makes nobody sense. there to check on it yeah, right, so we, uh, the stuff. problem is they've had to give deference to small towns like ours where you don't have a mm. public water. Harvard can simply, you can connect to the mm. city water main, you spend 20K and you got the sprinkler system, but here we mm. don't have three-phase power, so a big electric fire pump could be used, but since we don't have three-phase power, I've got to use a diesel, and that uh. triples the cost of the uh. fire pump, and then you got to store the water to, to uh. pump with, so it just be, it, I think the front end, just to get the water storage in the pump is, Hundred and seventy five to hundred and ninety thousand just just to have water. Mm -hmm. And then, then the piping is fifteen, twenty thousand bucks. It's not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's where we're at. So for now we have a new fire will be a fire alarm, the mm -hmm. building's fully sheathed, there's a two hour mm -hmm. wall between the truck bays and mm -hmm. the office. And they've given a variance, but they ever said mm -hmm. if we ever add on or we ever get a grant or any money, we have to use that money first for the sprinkler system, which mm -hmm. again if I go down to public safety to get a permit. For the addition, they're going to tell me I got to put the sprinkler system in, so I'm just going to do it. I want to do it anyway. Yeah. It's a, okay. it, it, the mm -hmm. funding's there. I think it should mm -hmm. be done and be done with it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so that's where we are. So, if magic things happen and <laughs> they do their stuff in 45 days, we might actually be able to go out to bid. Oh, be nice to get the same contractor, but you yeah. don't know. Yeah, but we'll see. I can use the same architects and both engineers. Oh, okay. If you got any questions, mm -hmm. I'd be glad to answer them. <laughs> The drug side of things, the chaos has been a little, I'm not going to use the word, but you know what I mean. It's yeah. sort of sad a little bit, but we'll see if it stays that way. So, our, not really well, a little off the subject, but not on the agenda, our little uh, community forum that's being planned, it hasn't actually been yeah, advertised yet. Yeah, it's the date of... June, June, June something, something. The town hall. The, the last uh, 16th, is it? That's kind of rings a bell in my mind. I think it's June 16th. I think that's yeah, the date that I put my calendar. 20th, what? 25th or 26th? 26th. 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 Yeah, that makes sense. And I think so it's going to be at the town hall because I think they're refinishing the floor. The floor. floor. Right. Yeah. I have May 16th. No. no. <laughs> I guess already happened. Maybe, that was, a, maybe, maybe that was another meeting. Maybe. Back maybe. Lunch. <laughs> Man, maybe that was another meeting we had. Yeah, and that's that's uh, that's on as far as I know. Yeah. Patrick's managing that. So for the public and anybody who's interested in watching HCTV, that's a little uh, community forum for people who want to learn about. Uh, and talk about and too. We're gonna think talk about talking about, about ideas about and, and there'll be there'll be some people there problems. from various. Uh, Crime. Well, mostly, it, mostly it's going to it's mostly going to be folks from recovery centers, various mm -hmm. different recovery centers, people that are skilled in mm -hmm. dealing with folks that have addiction. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of the yeah. where this needs to go, but mm -hmm. that's where where we're headed. But it's, again, it's organic. We're not really trying to force whatever direction is mm -hmm. chosen. But I think people will kind of come to terms of what what could be done and you know what can if be anything done. yeah mm -hmm. okay hope we have a building up there shortly <laughs> it's supposed to be in there by november we'll see oh really 
four to six months. Okay. So you can't take down the old building. Well, who knows? Sure I don't even know. know that that's I don't that I just don't know what the rope are going down. I'm just waiting to. Ooh, and nobody what's... else can seem to tell me what's going to happen either. So. Uh, have you heard anything about uh, John Gordon working with? Um, the guy across the street. Yeah. James. Well, he's kind of in the same boat we are. I've got to get him some more information to get a pass uh, along to. Uh, we're on the list. He's on the list. So there's three buildings in Woodbury. Uh, on the buyout list. I don't know what the third one is. I thought it was the building um, across the road from the post office. Yeah, that would be the third one. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard anything. I, I heard. I heard oh, right, right anything. across the on the other side. The that other yellow yeah. line. Okay, that's okay. They said there's three. I didn't look what the addresses were. Mm -hmm. I think I heard that at a select board meeting in the past, but I'm not uh, sure where I heard that information. Yeah, because they would have come seen you about. You'll have to sign on to the deal. Mm -hmm. Paul, can yes. you tell me what the difference between a two-phase and a three-phase is? Well, so if you look at, we have two lines, there's basically two phases. There's two high hot lines coming into town. The closest three phase is down at uh, Dollar General. You'll oh. notice when you look at the pole, there's three. Oh, okay. And it's, it's you know, two, 208, 120, 208, or 480 voltage, just higher. The bigger, bigger. Bigger. Power. There's three actual phases, which makes big motors run, and oh, okay. it just doesn't come up here. And the cost to get it up here to run a motor. So we don't have cheaper. any any in town, huh? There's no oh. three phase, right? But usually big industrial motors require three phase mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. A lot of your villages have it for that reason, because mm -hmm. anything with big, big mm -hmm. motors, anything over like use a little mm -hmm. five horsepower, but you go to some big ten and twelve fifty horsepower mm -hmm. electric motors, you, mm -hmm. you're going to have big mm -hmm. power needs. Mm -hmm. No, Thanks. nobody's been asking for that yet. So no, it probably won't be here for. <laughs> We um, really had a need for it. We don't have any big industrial no. customers waiting to build. No. It's nice if you have it, but not here. Keep them away. <laughs> any questions? I'll get out of here. Why don't you go to the next thing? Thanks, Paul. Good luck with your food Thank and you. stuff, too. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, I'm better feed when it <laughs> Maybe by the end of summer we'll have a check. Uh, or we'll... Maybe. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations right. on breaking ground. Yes, thank you. thank you. Yeah. yeah. I knew we just we threw it together quick because it, it was tough to get people there, but I figured we had to do something before there was a building up. Mm -hmm. Just make some noise about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're it looks, started. Looks like something's happening. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they didn't come today. I was gone to Plattsburgh all day. I just barely got back. So I guess yeah. they didn't dig today. It must be they thought it was too wet. Yeah. But it's on them. They got to, the longer they wait, the more expensive it gets for them. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. Have a great Thank night. You. Yeah, you're yeah. Yeah. doing training tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Tuesday. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. I got people that it's good to let them run it for a while. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Um, the next thing is the town hall roof report. And Liz and I, after the meeting, um, went over and took a look at it. Um, and it seems like it should be replaced for sure. The side, uh, the south, no, it's the north side. The north side. But I think we talked about it, it almost makes sense to think about place, replacing that south side at the same Both time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's been mentioned before. Yeah. Um, it's not like that other side is that much newer than the yeah. north side. We have no, we have no idea how, mm -hmm. how new or old it is. It just looks, but it could be it just looks better because it wasn't rusty or something. It's because it was south instead mm -hmm. of north. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we have in the town building maintenance fund, after we put that ARPA money back in, we got $22,000. The one it's not really a bid, but it's an estimate that I got way back when we started looking at this. It was like for twelve thousand dollars for that one yeah. okay, side. Hmm? Can I look at that? Yeah. And I I bugged that guy for an estimate because we needed it to put a, put together the application, and Michael recommended that that was the only company that they could get to do the the library roof. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they, they did a great job. Yeah. They're from Southern Vermont, right? I remember them being from right, like, right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was a really high estimate for what they were going to They're doing half a roof. I mean, it's a really high estimate. Yeah. It's not complicated. 
No. Yeah. Yeah. And they did say that, that, that kind of <laughs> that, that kind of roofing they said was uh, easily available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, it seems like, I mean, I guess we're going to put it out for bid anyways, right? Yeah, right. Um, we have to so we'll coordinate thousand dollars certainly, if we... Yeah. Does it have to have a statement in there saying it's a historical building? They should, yeah, it should be. Oh, there's also the issue of the, the soffit. I never know the right way to say okay. it, but in order to keep the bats from going back in, because we did spend money on the bat. Um, remediation or <laughs> extraction last year whether they've gotten back in there or not I don't know but the guys who did the bat work um, said that they put in some uh, some barriers but it was not you know it was kind of like temporary right, yeah. I don't know whether they just put some screening or something or well what? they put in some screening to try to keep the bats out and then they had these things where the bats could get out but not back in oh. but they recommended that um, with the soffits, um, they should be uh, fixed within a year, and mm -hmm. it's been a couple of years mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. then. So. Mm -hmm. so that's not part of that estimate, right? Right. Yeah. Right. We already paid for that. I'm not sure what it came out of. What? what oh, so it was took it out of. The no, town paid for the uh, the, the bat fix. removal. The fix. Got yeah. it. All right. The real fix has not happened yeah. yet. Yeah, okay. But could we put that in the same in the scope of work for the roof, like what? just to the do bat? both? Yeah, to fix the soffits and. Oh yeah, the, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, should be all the same. I'm assuming that the roof people do that too. I mean, I know the bat yeah, people. Can't take it. Yeah. Yeah. They they went around the top of the ceiling in the town hall with a, like a silicone kind of sealing up that crack between the wall and the ceiling, which mm -hmm. I thought was nice. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess the little buggers can get in. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether they've gotten in there since. There wasn't a whole lot of guano. There was a bat hanging from the um, fencing, like the metal, the mesh that they put in when oh, yeah. we press it. I think it was uh, a dead one. That. I'm not really sure. I was just yeah. there. Where? Yeah. From where? From, from the... like they have some like metal mesh screening. Up oh, okay. So they're trying to get in. So there was a bat just like hanging from it. Oh, but I think yeah. it was a dead bat. Oh. Yeah. They're still yeah. looking for a home. I guess so. Somebody provided us with a bat house, but I don't think it's been put back up yet. Put mm -hmm. up yet. Maybe if we put no, that up in the back of the still town in the, still in the back yeah. room. Yeah. Susan's got one on. There the is one on. Yeah. 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 But they thought, yeah. Whoever we talked to at the time about that removal suggested that there be another one, so I may thought maybe in the back of the red building, on the post office building, because it's supposed to be in a certain, you know, southern exposure or something. I don't remember exactly. But. So that needs to be put up? Yeah. Do we have to get permission nice. to put it up? or how does no, that... no, you need the landowner's permission. But yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't want to put it on the town hall. It's it's asking for trouble. I mean, the one on, on the corner building is right next, you know, like 20 feet from the town hall. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and we don't know whether the fire department building is going to be there or not. So, mm -hmm. anyway. So then you have a question here. Who, um, should we approve the issuance of an RFP and who will help prepare it? Yeah. Um, is there, is there a, do we have a, Guidelines for preparing RFPs? Or ha I've never done them before, so. I've never done one either. I think you just respond to them, right? I don't even respond. I don't even respond to them, but um, yeah. I'm happy to okay. look at them. I thought maybe just you know, I was hoping that because that's your business, maybe you know how to do that. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like Skip Lindsay has done them in the past. Yeah. 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 Skip can do anything for the RFP. I mean. Chris and Lizzie, you could probably put together a scope of work. That's that's kind of the okay. most important oh. part of an RFP, and Thank then there's you, yeah. other kinds of kind of generic information mm -hmm. language. You want to do that? In the, sure. Yeah, I mean, we can pass it back and forth. By email. Let's pass it back and yeah. forth. Okay. <laughs> the scope of work for the RFP, and then the rest of it is regular boilerplate stuff. Yeah, and I think, okay. I, I think I have some RFPs that would give you the boilerplate stuff in my. Okay. So it's just filling in blanks, basically. 
right? Or yeah, like you have to. Well, uh, um, Brandy would tell you that the person needs to be insured, and and um, and whether they would have to be on an approved list or. Um, I'm trying to remember the term for that, where they're oh debarred or they put in their not debarred, yeah, yeah, debarred, yeah. Um, yeah. stuff like that. Um, and if we issue an RFP, we get because it. How long is that good for it? So, for instance, if somebody, it might be unlikely that we could get somebody to do it for this year, but mm. uh, you, usually with an RFP, you you would send it out, and there's you can set the amount of time for a response. It's usually um, maybe, you know, right around a month. Okay. You give people mm -hmm. enough time to respond. Um, and then there's a process for reviewing them and, you know, approving whoever. And if we approve someone, could it be approved for the, like, next year? Sure. Next year? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It can be <laughs> That's all we get, yeah. 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 As long as it's spelled out in the RFP. Right. Okay. The dates, the certain dates have to be spelled out in the RFP. Okay. You know, Brandy could also probably supply you with um, some of the RFPs that, that have gone out. And, um, you know, because there's a, a number of things that she needs to have on there just for accounting or for auditing in the mm -hmm. future. Um, just, and, and I know one of the big issues for her is the, that the contractor is insured properly. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. How's that going to work as far as property lines? Like, there's a pretty small amount pretty of tight. space. Um, yeah. If they set staging or whatever, like, I'm guessing it's probably going to be partially on the adjacent property. Do we need to ask for it? There is a, something in the lease that says that we have uh, permission to work around the building. Mm -hmm. So it's never been a problem before. And, and wouldn't hurt to mention it to the abutting property mm -hmm. owners so that yeah, they are mm -hmm. on board. I mean, you have the fire station on one side, mm -hmm. and I'm sure the fire department. Yeah, and yeah. I'm sure if we ask uh, the other side to clean up that section, it wouldn't be a big deal. Uh, right. We've got a lot of stuff in there now, but yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, there's poss possibly some VLC team on here, some shells also. Yeah. If we do have a kind of a template RFP, that's what you're I did find this and send this to you today, Michael. This report. I sent it to you today. You probably okay. didn't get it. Okay, I have it. Okay. I thought it was away all day. No, just, so. I just found it this afternoon in my, Great. In my files. All right, um, moving on, we have uh, updates and other business. Uh, Liz, I think, no, is it you, the status of the fire alarm installation? Yeah, I did my homework on All that right. one. So, uh, do we, I, just to back up a second, do mm -hmm. we need to make a motion to approve issuing the RFP, or are we good on that? We have to have the RFP first. Oh, okay, I don't Got know. It. Is that true? Well, I yeah, think we could have, have a we motion to go ahead first. with it. Only if we have to. I'm not trying to I think I'd like to move that we go ahead and have okay. the roof replaced, and if we can't get the price for half the both sides, and we'll go with just one side. So mm -hmm. that's a motion. Yes. All right. So okay. Diana has made a motion that we uh, move ahead with the creating an RFP um, to help to replace the north and south side, correct, of the Woodbury Town Hall roof. And fix the soffits. And fix the soffits and mm -hmm. maybe put up a bat house. Um, any discussion? Further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All right. Motion passes. We will start to draft a scope of work at least. And then we can then figure out maybe by the next meeting, figure out um, what we need to do to make it an official RFP. All right. All right, status fire alarm install installation. Uh, so I did get back. I reached out again to Rusty and David. I think it's David. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as I know, Rusty emailed back, and I believe as of last Friday, they were going to come and finish the work. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they did. I didn't hear back after mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, but 
I was trying to pull this up before. I think I forwarded the email to you guys because there was Rusty has some questions hmm. and, and there was I something. Yeah. feel like we needed to talk about it. So I'm finding it right now. I think. I found it. Um, okay, so I'm skipping parts um, just to so I don't read too much. But uh, the mo I have a few things I will need from you guys to finish up. That being us, um, the most important one will be I will need the attached monitoring agreement signed and a few questions answered. So there's an agreement which I didn't print. Sorry. Um, is Robin on that email that he sent? Mm, you know what? I email? think I only sent it to you guys. Um, Do you know what date that was, though? It was the 23rd, May 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a form that we need to fill out. And he wanted to know who's authorizing the monitoring. Um, and who's responsible? Is it the town of Woodbury or is it the library? Which I think it's the town of Woodbury, right? Because we own the building. Yeah, I would think that the school would be another option, whether OSSU would be. Well, I think that came up already and we decided between OSSU and us it was the town because the town owns the school, okay. right? But the library, I don't know that's separate and the library has their own funding and all that stuff. I can, I can answer yeah. that question. Okay. The town officially owns the building and both this room and, and the mm -hmm. library and pays the insurance. It's not the library um, commission that okay. it, makes any of those payments. But what's involved in the monitoring? Thank you. Um, let's see if it says... Uh, like testing or something? I mean. So I think that's probably in the paper that I didn't print. I'll click it in a second. Mm -hmm. So he has one last question. Who would be listed as responding parties that would get a call for after hours trouble? So it's got to be somebody that lives close by who's willing to come check it out if there's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and he would like to have two to three people on the list if possible. Um, so this is like a monitoring service that uh, would, if there there's was an alarm, the, if there's an alarm or a smoke detector goes off, it automatically calls three people. Do you have and, that at the garage? Yes. Mm -hmm. And does yeah. it now automatically call the fire department? Uh, that's one of the one of the phone numbers. One of the okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the sheet. You want to fill that if you guys want to just look at it. Oh boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would it make sense to have one of the three people be on the fire department if they were willing? I think that would. Make I wonder sense. who the school has for theirs. Probably Dave, right? I was gonna say they, no. they probably have Donnie. Yeah, I think yeah. Donnie would be um, the closest one. Yeah, they're going to the stones. Yeah. Take care of it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So maybe he would do this for the town garage. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. How um, soon does he need this? I didn't hear back, so I asked him that, and then I said I was sending it to you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't know, but. Right. Well, we should print that out for the next meeting, yeah. right? And did we? Uh, did did he f have to have that stuff signed before he finished the work? That or? was something I didn't get an answer okay. to. So I'm I'm assuming not because he was planning to do the work yeah. Friday, yeah. and I assume he did. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, does this have to get filled out at a meeting, or can could I print it out and we could like? I, I think so. Way. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just paper. It's administrative yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's their big decision that's yeah. needed. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I can't find it. Can you send that to me again? Yeah, I'll send it like right now. Okay. Um, and so we have. I don't know that there's anything else to talk about. That is there? No. I don't think so. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to approve bills and payroll orders um, towards the end of the meeting, and we are going to table our rules of procedure and our personnel policy um, because none of us did it. <laughs> um,
You need to do your homework. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, unless there's anything else, um, where you folks want to hang out and welcome to, but you got other things to do besides watch us look at paper. Yeah. You want to hear the one other thing I did do? Because I didn't do so many things. I did get a hold of Mike, who's going to do the sheetrock in the town office. And he knows that he can he can get a hold of you to go ahead with that. His name is what? Michael Ferrier. Okay. Yes. Great. So once the heating system is in, oh, we can record I don't think, that. We I don't think that the two need to. I thought we had said that they were independent. Oh, now I'm realizing. I think. Well, there's only that one wall where where they're going to switch out the up the in and the out. Mm-hmm. They're gonna flip the ductwork. So you know, I think I forgot about that piece. Um, but does the other walls? I mean, it's, well, it's, it's only putting a cutting a hole in the yeah. sea rock. I guess that's not that big a deal. Can know. he get? Does he have access? Like, he'll have, have, have access from the back. He'll have to go yeah. to the bulkhead with yeah. it. But I mean, yeah. what if he if he she rocks that one wall where they're gonna flip the the intake and the, and yeah, the intake. Yeah, the back's just stuck like open stuff. So they could probably still yeah. do it, and you yeah. can just still rearrange stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and it, they're it. coming, there's a date for them, right, anyway? For the furnace? Yeah. yeah. This uh, 16th and 17th of June. Yeah, I'm or sure they will get their document anyway, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Thank you all. all right. Appreciate it. Thanks, Daniel. Um, I think we can be quick if you want to. Do you mind? moved away, right? Yeah. But he still comes back and does some stuff? He's still the uh, assistant treasurer. And, and where um, where did he move to? Bradford or Newberry? Newberry, I think. Where? Yeah, over there somewhere. Yeah, where is Newberry? Over by Bradford. Oh, yeah. So that's a hike. It's on the East sure. Coast. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really nice of him to do that. And Brandy really, you know, relies on him because he is a... Accountant. Six hundred and thirteen dollars for tires for Freedom Day. Wow. Fix it either, is it? Oh, Hopefully really? it will. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Good. Yeah, she mentioned that she wasn't sure that this so was. So right. here's another question about the cemetery. Why are we paying for the cemetery survey? Why are we paying for the cemetery? We did pay for the stuff before we owned it, but now the. Uh, Susan Stagley hired the surveyor to come back and lay out the lot, which I knew was going to have to happen, but yeah. um, seems like that should be coming out of the, the cemetery, fund. cemetery fund. Yeah, I guess we should talk to them. About where did she take it out of? Or where did he take it out of? So would it be worthwhile to um, invite Susan to a select board meeting? It's just good. They're out, out of the regular, you know. Digital. Yeah, but that, it could be coming out of the cemetery fund. It could be. I don't know how to tell But they, um, didn't, they didn't put the code on there. Like um, highway. Right. Each one of their bills, LV puts an actual account that it needs to come out of. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And back when I was audited, and I said, Brandy, you really need to do that on all of the payments that you're paying because I don't know if this should, if this should be cemetery or if it should be library or yeah where and this yeah. is not approved by anyone most most of these are either approved by you know the Alfie or somebody mm -hmm. or or you or whoever um, when Brandy's not there but this is not there's no order. If it's coming out of the cemetery fund, though, does it need to be approved? By well, there should be either way. Center? Either way, it should, there should they be must, an order. Is okay. there a, there must be more of them in there that's being paid out of the cemetery. Would you be able is to there, tell if we give this to you? A lot of my depth. Yes, Sam. See, like this here, this is the library. So they, they list all their invoices there, and then they have their approval down there. So that approval is approving all of these invoices, even though you don't see the approval on each and every invoice. Mm -hmm. But I don't see one there for the library. You, you mean for the cemetery? cemetery? Yeah, some, I'm sorry, yes. In a two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> And there's really nothing in here that would indicate where it came out of. So this must have just come in the mail or by, uh, did Susan bring that in? Or she, she wouldn't have brought that in. Maybe it just came by email and you printed it out. I didn't print it out. Huh. What's the invoice for? We're laying out the lots in the new section of the West Woodbury Cemetery that was donated by... Because when I have something that I print out from email mm -hmm. that needs to be paid, I put the date stamp on yeah, it that I, I printed out. Mm -hmm. okay. So, is it... We can talk about it at the next meeting if it's uh, wise to invite the cemetery. Well, I think we just have to figure out where that came from, and who and how it got in here. I mean, it's it's not it's not folded or anything. It's not like it came in the mail. I mean, I'm talking about this year. Right. Mm -hmm. I can. I will check with Pam mm -hmm. and see if Susan brought it and handed it to her. Mm -hmm. But she she would have date stamped it. Yeah. If that would have happened. Huh. So there's a chance. I don't know if Tom has. Brandy's password to get into her email so he could print out? Yeah, I don't think he would. Because he asked me to come in and sign some little thing recently. I think it was Danielle's pay yep. or something. Right. So somebody had to sign, sign it. So, yeah, well, I think so do we not this. sign that one then? Mm -hmm. do, we, do we wait on signing that sheet? I think we should. Well, if you hold off signing the sheet, the rest of the checks don't go out. Oh, so we shouldn't do that then. We should sign it well, in. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. We can just, we just cross this off, change the total. <laughs> I mean, I believe you can do that. I mean, we can. We but if not, but but I'm I mean, not signing this at all, the rest of those are getting held out. Right, but if we just cross it off, 
Mm-hmm. Or do we need to? I mean, it's it seems it's a reasonable expenditure. It's just we have a question of how it got authorized. But I mean, it's not can, like that's something that's you know right. it seems like it's reasonable. Yeah, we can put it in a stack crisscross, and I will get hold of Susan. Uh huh. So she can give me justification, and I can send it on to you guys. Yeah. Okay. It's a cemetery. It should come out of the cemetery. Definitely should come out of the cemetery yep. fund. But we don't know that it's not, right? As of right now, you don't know that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I will get into one of the earlier months where Brandy always printed you off that white form that goes in front yeah. of this. Mm-hmm. that yeah. tells you this much is coming out of the cemetery, this mm-hmm. much is coming out of... I can't believe that they haven't given that... that, that the, whoever is the treasurer for the cemetery doesn't have those forms. Who is... I don't, I don't know, know who the treasurer is. Hmm. I mean, it's a volunteer position, so I'll check with Amy. Knows how. Huh? I'll check with Amy. Oh, Amy's on the. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Good. And if she's the treasurer, we'll straighten her out. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so what should we do? Just cross this off and. But then, if you cross it off and it's a le- legit thing, you're gonna have to put it onto yeah, a different board. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just, just put it crosswise. You're saying you just put this in here like this to right. remind you to... Right, and that way when I go through that. and sign the checks tomorrow, mm-hmm. I won't be signing that one. Yeah, okay. okay. Until we get our answers. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you should have to look at all of them. Well, if you went through no, them, I don't, need, I don't need to look at all. Yeah, I like the idea of each of us. Your daily... You shouldn't trust my... <laughs> my uh, my work. Oh wait, we need that other side this way. This one must have had a clip. On. Yep. Okay. Now Chris is going to fill out. Thank you. All right. How are you doing doing all this extra work? I mean, Tom's coming in and he's taking care of the the bills every two weeks. Yeah, and Sam's and not having any problem with the payroll? She, well, today um, Nimrick had a hiccup. Oh. So she had to get through that first, but she actually called Nimrick. Instead of calling Brandy, but if you call Brandy, then Brandy would have to call them right mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So we got it. Yeah. She got it figured out. Okay. I gave your pen back, Robin. Okay, I'll have it for so, next time. So as far as <laughs> Alan Roble, right. yeah, um, yeah, I'll have ten. It would be good if he could sell some of that land, but yeah, but that's not really. Uh, I mean. I know it's not That's our not problem, us. but geez and crow, well, people just buy some of the, I mean, people who want to pay $150,000 for that lot should pay, pay another $15,000 to buy her out. <laughs> yeah, if she saw. Yeah. <laughs> Same with Russell Richardson. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. All right, any, um... Yeah. Oh, are we still on camera? Oh. We are. <laughs> uh, I thought we were gone. <laughs> any other uh, business to the board? Mm-mm. Is there a motion to, to adjourn? adjourn? All right. Mm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.